Dr. Romano to do a problem on conversions. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano. I am professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Dat Destroyer books and the Orgo Man products. What I want to go over with you today is a conversion factor. This is what the freshman chemistry student first encounters when he first gets involved in general chemistry. So come around and let me show you how we go about doing a conversion. And you may actually be able to use this for the math section as well. What I want to do is to convert five centimeters into miles. Now we know this is going to be a small number, but I give you that an inch is 2.54 centimeters. Let's make that a little better decimal. And one mile is 5280 feet. That's given. So what I first do is write down five centimeters. Now we know, is there a relationship between a centimeter and a mile? Alexandra, do you know how many centimeters is in a mile? No, I don't know. I don't know either. But I do know that one inch, one inch is 2.54 centimeters. And centimeters crosses out. So I'm looking a little better. I have no idea how many inches in a mile. Can you help me out, Alexandra? I'm not sure about that one. I'm not sure either how many inches in a mile, but I do know that one foot or feet, same thing, is equal to 12 inches well, or inch. Inch or inches can cancel out, and now I'm in foot or feet. And now I see the kill. We know that one mile is 5280 feet foot and feet interchangeably can cancel out, so I'm left with miles. So what I'm gonna do is the top is gonna be a five, the bottom is a 2.54, a 12, and a 52.80. We'll just leave it in this form for the DAT exam. So as you can see, we get five divided by 2.54, divided by 12, divided by 52.80, and that's how many miles you get. Let's do a little more challenging one called the double conversion. I give you 4.5 pounds and I want to convert that into grams. We start over, sorry. 4.5 pounds per cubic inch into grams per cubic foot. And I give you 454 grams as a pound. My first move is to write the given 4.5 pounds. The trick I like to teach my students is to write an inch cubed as an inch times an inch times an inch. Now let's get the numerator first. We know that there's 454 grams in one pound. A pound and pounds cancel. Well, that's good. I got the numerator already in my grams. Now, inches and feet. There are 12 inches, 12 inches in one foot. Well, that knocks out one of the inches. Now go for the next one. There is 12 inches in one foot. Things are looking better. There's 12 inches in one foot. And now I am left with grams per foot cubed. So it's gonna be 4.5, 4.5 multiplied by 454 times 12, times 12, times 12, or 12 cubed. So I hope you can see the way you would do this conversion and just set it up is 4.5 times 454 times 12 cubed. And that's the way you would do what we call the double conversion. This is a sure bet type of question. We got one in the Dr. Destroyer. Make sure you know how to do what's called the double conversion. Okay, I hope this helps on how to do your conversions. Bye-bye.